Hey, kickboxing, the semifinal of the King of the Ring tournament coming up in just a bit. First, we begin with a contender bout in the blue trunks. Kamel Jamel from Paris, France, number eight ranked super bantamweight fighter. He'll be taking on Habib Khalid from Montpellier, France. As a featherweight, he is ranked number nine in the world. This bout is at the featherweight weight. Habib Khalid more familiar with this weight than is Jamel, but both of these fighters known as very tough French fighters. Lon McCarron along with Mike Sawyer, glad you could join us on this edition of ISKA Kickboxing. Both fighters trying to go for knee strikes inside. Very much the tie format. Get inside, grab the opponent, knee strike to the body. Both are doing pretty well with it. Neither one particularly effective yet, but they're, they're landing something in there. The referee will let them go on that clinch as long as there is sufficient action. But he breaks them apart, and we start from scratch from the center. Jamel in the blue trunks, Khalid in the black. knowledgeable crowd here at the Palais de Sport cheering every knee strike every roundhouse kick Khalid's got his eyes on the lower body of Jamel just wants to bang in with those leg kicks but Jamel scoring with those punches to the head Jamel's got very fast hands he is scoring real well up top and Khalid is in trouble stunned just a bit from those punches started off with the kicking to the legs but then it was Kamel Jamel in the blue came on strong with the gloves Khalid very focused on the leg kicks just wants to kick down to the body but he's missing the action up top and he's getting hit as a result he's got to start keeping his hands up and punching back Jamel's just having his, his way with him after both spiders started out in a more traditional Thai style with the clinching and knee strikes and kicking, Jamel now has reverted to a more European boxing style. I like very much his hand combinations. He's really capitalizing on the fact that Khalid is focused almost entirely on throwing leg kicks. Again, nice four-punch combination by Jamel. The last left hook scored well with the body. The traditional Muay Thai music ever present in the background. End of round number one. We saw two different fighters in Kamel Jamel. He started out with the kicks and the knee strikes went to more punching. Up top, Khalid just took a beating in that round. Jamel landing virtually every punch in the book. Left hooks, straight rights, jabs. This round, Habib Khalid has got to keep his hands up and keep his eyes on what's happening with the gloves, not just what's going on down below with leg kicks. Contender bout scheduled for five three-minute rounds. And we're back to action. Jamel in the near side in the blue trunks. Big kick to the head. Khalid has absorbed a tremendous amount of punishment so far in the opening minutes of this fight. And Khalid is doing it again. Again, he's almost totally focused on leg kicks. You can see the way he's standing and moving, trying to set himself up to leg kick. And he's getting punched in the face by Jamel constantly. Jamel with a great roundhouse left kick to the face of Khalid, and now the fighters are tied up. <laughs> Nothing happening inside. The referee's going to break them up any time. They're allowed to hold like that if they throw knee strikes inside and keep busy. 
good. Khalid trying for a throw, unsuccessful. Good knee strike by Jamel. Habib Khalid just trying to tie up Jamel right now. Khalid in the black trunks. Probably feels he lost the first round and now needs to find a way to score points against Jamel. But Jamel comes back with a punching. But Khalid just isn't punching back. He's absorbing the blows, just going back to his game plan of leg kicks. He's got to pay attention to what's happening up top. Good leg kick by Jamel. Even though Khalid began his kick first, Jamel beat him to the kick. Khalid also absorbed two uppercuts in that, that flurry. An amazing flurry, both fighters. Trading kicks, trading punches. Jamel setting himself up to punch. You can see the way he's standing. Trying to get some artillery going in there. Khalid again, just going for leg kicks. the black trunks it is Habib Khalid who is moving forward forcing Jamel to backpedal fighters thought that that was the bell it was just a noise in the arena very smart fight so far by Jamel even here in the second round he's been able to, to stay on that game plan Kicks followed by punches up top, most of them unanswered by Khalid. Now, Khalid comes back with the kicks. Down goes Habib Khalid, but it's a slip. Ready now for round three between Kamel Jamel in the blue trunks and Khalid Habib in the black trunks. Habib was able to hold off Jamel a bit more in that second round. Now he needs to be the aggressor. But it is Jamel who comes out again with those ever-present punches. Jamel has got a great left hand. His left uppercuts and hooks land consistently and do great damage. And the variety and speed with which this barrage is coming is befuddling Kali. Much like the first round, Jamel comes out with the kicks and the punches. Jamel blocking those roundhouse kicks from Khalid. Khalid still staying with the low kicks. Some of them scored this round, but overall, he doesn't have a very high percentage of those things landing. And now they've lost some of the steam from the earlier rounds. He's going to have to start punching back. His, his one weapon that was working, those low kicks, is starting to lose some steam. Well, the amazing thing is that Khalid is not able to stop the punches to the head from Jamel. Three quarters of the punches from Kamel Jamel, I would say, are landing to the head of Khalid. Khalid just doesn't have the training in, the, in boxing. You can, you can see it. He just doesn't see him coming, doesn't know how to react. He's just not prepared for this kind of punching by Jamel. It's going to take more than just this fight to learn how to handle it. I think it's unusual for a European kickboxer as well. You'd think they'd have more training in the punching techniques. And now Habib Khalid ties up Jamel a bit. And you saw it looked like Jamel a little bit arm weary after he threw a punch. He slumped his shoulders looking for rest. Jamel's getting a little arm tired, but that right hand just had some steam on it. Khalid's doing the right thing. He's trying to punch back, but he just doesn't, doesn't have the punching power that Jamel has. Good roundhouse kick to the head by Jamel. Kind of a glance and blow, but it still did some damage. It also showed he can get there when he wants to. It's 
Those knee strikes are missing. They're all too low on the hip. But they've got to keep throwing them or the referee will break them up. I think right now both fighters are, are just are glad to be in a clinch, take a little rest. Khalid tying up Jamel in the final seconds here of the third round. And another good round for the man in the blue trunks from Paris, France, Kamel Jamel, a return to his form from the first round, I think, Mike. So this is this is what he's done the whole fight. Uh, he usually started with kicks and then punches. There he finished with a roundhouse that landed well for him. This is Khalid trying to punch back, but you can see it's all arm punching. There's no real body in it. It doesn't have the sting that Jamel's punches have. Into the corner of Kamel Jamel. Sammy kepchi has got a running commentary going there, but I think we could translate it. He would just be telling Jamel to do the same thing he's doing because it's working. His best rounds were one and three. Khalid was able to hold him off a bit, but you have to wonder now, was it a matter of Jamel just resting in round two? Scheduled for five, this is round four. I think Jamel took a little break in that round. This round, he'll, he'll be back to form, and I think the fifth round, if it goes that far, would be a burner for Jamel. Seems very well trained in his upper body skills. Now Jamel going to leg kicks and scoring well with him. It just appears, Mike, as if Kamel Jamel knows what Khalid is going to do before he does it. Jamel's the faster fighter. I think faster thinker as well as faster with his hands and his legs. Another factor here, we see that Khalid, uh, Habib Khalid is gingerly putting weight on that left leg. I think he may have taken one or two leg kicks just above the knee that hit that nerve up on the outside of the thigh. He may have trouble controlling that leg. Khalid with a good roundhouse to the bread basket of Jamel. But Jamel sloughed it off. Jamel is, is a one tough guy. He's taken some pretty good leg kicks and he doesn't show any effect from him so far. Still on his toes, still focused. Kamel Jamel in the blue trunk. It's the first combination I've seen by Jamel that was poorly executed. Maybe just getting a little fatigued. Right hand glancing blow from Khalid. Punches by Khalid, nothing really on those. Again, good combination by Khalid. Finishing that with that roundhouse kick seems to be working well for him now. It's the opposite of what he did early in the fight, starting with the kicks. Ending with them seems to work better, and he landed that good roundhouse to the thigh. The left leg of Khalid is definitely hurt. The speed of the attack of both fighters has slowed down. Khalid is still looking a little desperate. He knows he's got to get something going. But Jamel has taken a rest here in this round in the latter part. I don't think he's as tired as he's making it look. Those, those kicks still got sting on him. Again, the fighters clinch in the final seconds of this round. We are scheduled for five. We're going to five. Back at the Palais de Sport in Paris, France. Lon McCarron along with Mike Sawyer. Ready now for the final round of this featherweight bout. Kamel Jamel in the blue trunks and Khaled Habib in the black trunks. So far, it has been Jamel's fight to lose. Habib Khalid probably needs a knockout to win. These are three-minute rounds, so he's got some time to do it. 
Looks like he's got the idea that he's got to start punching, that his leg kicks aren't going to carry the day for him. But again, Jamel getting the best of the exchanges. Khalid comes up with a good right hand to the head of Jamel. Exchanging kicks and they met shins and it was Jamel who flinched. I think that hurt Jamel but knocked him off balance a little bit. Don't think it'll have a lasting effect. Jamel a little sluggish first part of this round, not really going after Khalid. Inside there on those clinches, not really trying to do anything. Well the strategy there for Khalid is to throw Jamel to the canvas, make him work to get up, but I think. Habib used more energy trying to throw him down than Jamel would have used getting up. Jamel either is more fatigued than, than he looked earlier, or he just figures he's got this fight won and he's going to cruise because he hasn't really done anything yet this round. Well, he's got to be arm weary to a degree after the amount of punches he's thrown. Khalid coming on strong, though, knows this is his last shot. For the first time in this fight, it looks like Habib Khalid is going for his hands as his primary weapon. Only leg kicking almost as an afterthought after the punches. That left leg of Khalid's is definitely hurt. He's hesitant to put weight on it, and we don't see him throwing many kicks with it. Precious seconds ticking off the clock. Habib Khalid needs to attack. He is not going to get the knockout in a clinch. 15 seconds left. Khalid needs to do more. He needs to get out of there. Punch and kick with everything he's got. Kamal Jamal will take the clinch to finish off the fifth and final round of this featherweight contender bout in the Palais de Sport. That's it. There you see Habib Khalid. Looking like he thinks he's won the fight. He certainly does. The Kamal Jamal, the more aggressive fighter. Khalid trying to throw Jamel down. Wow. It's too late for that. This fifth round, he needed to be throwing heavy stuff, going for a knockout. That's the slip by Jamel. No real damage there. Well, they give the fight to Habib. Terrible decision, Lon. Totally disagree. All right. Well, I'll let you comment on that in just.